to you back again. So it's been actually a period of months between my last videos and this video. I had thought I was going to be doing some type of a challenge, some type of different challenge. I talked about a couple of different things, ideas I was knocking around. And, but what I really want to do is a challenge to see if I can fast longer. So I've actually spent the last, well, period of months su significantly gaining weight and intentionally so. Um, that's not something that most people would probably want to do, um, but I'm actually wanting to learn more about fasting and really master fasting itself as well as a bunch of other things. But I'm just fascinated with the art and practice of fasting. Um, I just find it to be just incredibly interesting and what it can do for the body. And so I'm still exploring that and I still am going to do some of those other things that I talked about in the future. But before that, I'm doing a new fasting challenge. And I've actually challenged uh, a couple of guys that I work with, a couple of comrades that I work with, um, and uh, to do this challenge as well. And what I challenge them is, we'll see you can fast the longest. We're starting the same day. Today is July 31st. I'm going to actually try and keep up with posting these videos as soon as possible so that it'll be essentially in a, a real-time format. Um, last time when my channel got shut down, which actually kind of took a lot of my steam, uh, I'll talk about that later. Um, kind of really wasted a lot of emotional energy on that. Um, anyhow, I'll talk about that another time. But uh, what I really want to do is, so the challenge is this. If either one of them can go longer fasting than me, I pay them $250. If I win, they don't owe me anything. They don't, I don't win anything from them. But why am I looking at the camera? And, I'm not sure. I haven't done a video in a long time. So, but if, <laughs> wow. Um, but if they win, I pay them $250, whoever wins the most, not, not, if they don't, if they both beat, oh shit, I didn't think, ah, dang it, I didn't think if they both beat me, I actually am going to pay out $500, I didn't think that that was even a possibility when I was laying out this bet to them, but theoretically it is possible that they could both beat me, although I don't think it's going to happen, I don't think even one of them is going to, but we'll see what happens, and <laughs> don't look at the phone, look at the, in the mirror. I shoot videos in such a janky old way. I'm not good at doing video stuff. I'm really into the the stuff, not the documenting of it. That's why I'm trying to focus on this because I'm so passionate about it that I think it's important that other people who haven't experienced it can hear about it and find out what it's like and get more information. So that's why I'm doing this and why I'm not very good at it yet, but I'll get there. I'll get where I'm good at it. Um, if, you, if people have watched a couple of my videos and I got actually a couple of subscribers. So to you that have uh, subscribed and watched my videos, um, thank you. Uh, sorry for not doing a video in so long, but I am gonna look to be better at that. Anyhow, I'm wasting time. I'm gonna go for a 40 day challenge fast. Four, zero. That's how many days I'm gonna look to do. Um, I'll talk more about that in the future, but for right now, this is supposed to be a weigh-in video, and I've just ran on for three freaking minutes, and now my scale's probably not gonna have any batteries left. I had bought new batteries, and all right, let's just get to the weigh-in. And it says low batteries. All right, come on, come on. Usually if it says this, I can get it to work. Okay, okay, okay. I shouldn't have been moving while it was. 228.8. Now, 228.8, all right. Um, I actually don't remember what I was at before, but um, I know how my body works and I know how to get it to gain weight in the same way as I know how to make it lose weight, which is, of course, fasting. But just if you look from the side here. Oh, uh, shit, yeah. That's the best way to. So I'm, 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 I'm a fairly trim individual, uh, even at uh, 230 pounds, because um, I have a really big frame. I'm quite tall and I have a broad, a broad frame. Um, so it's dispersed. And so if I go like this from the side, you know, I'm standing, this is about how I normally stand. I don't really like do this whole like thing, although I can't do that, you know? But then if I go like this, bam! Holy mackerel. Look at all that, see? Because I'm actually, you know, naturally, you could go back to the old style forms that they would call like ectomorph. Um, look at that, I can, make a, I can make a jiggle on both sides there. So I have to, I have to really kind of put in the time 
um, <laughs> in, a, in a weird way. And for all the people that, listen, for all the people that aren't ectomorphs, um, ectomorphs have other issues, especially for guys. Uh, it's tough for us to gain muscle. So, you know, you, you can't have both best of both worlds, although I guess if you're a mesomorph, you know, and I'm I know I'm talking about old definitions, and a lot of people don't really think that these definitions are as accurate as they once described them as being with the different body types. Um, just talking about that as a frame of reference, because still a lot of people do understand what those mean. But, um, but you know, if, I'm, if I just have my shirt on, I look fairly good, but if I take my shirt off, I actually have a lot of fat going on. I'm not quite to the level of skinny fat, um, you know, but it's something along those lines. Anyhow, I'm going to be sharing a lot more stuff. I'm going to try and find a way to put these videos together, you know, so that they're all one video. So like day one, challenge fast day one, which hopefully is what this will be when you see it, um, rather than a bunch of small videos. I don't have video editing experience. so. That's, you know, this is all stuff that's new to me, so I'm going to try and figure out how to do that uh, today, hopefully, at the end of work, which is um, not even started yet. So, I'm going to wrap up this video. I might say something when I'm in the car later, but for right now, uh, we're starting off day one. I'm going to try to go for 40 days. That's the goal, and that's all for now. Stay positive. And yes, I know in the weigh-in that I was obviously wearing pants, which are probably quite heavy, as well as a shirt. Um, I'll get the weight on those later and see what it is so I can know officially, you know, what I was at. Um, oh, I should just shoot like this. I can actually look and it seems like I'm looking at the, but I'm looking at this. Um, so yeah, um, that's it. And then uh, I also want to be sure to remember to talk more about the toe socks. But I'll talk more about that um, probably in a later video because that's really important too. It's another thing that I'm doing. One of the goals that I'm doing during this uh, fast challenge, this challenge fast, fasting challenge, challenge fast, fasting challenge. Um, one of the goals that I'm doing is I'm going to try and do one thing each day that I've been meaning to get done. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to say be positive because not everybody already is. So be positive. Enterprise back again. We're gonna do a quick interview with one of the challengers here. Give me just one second to turn this around. Actually, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Damn it! All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Day one. I ate like I was biking last night at 11:30. Went, ate myself to sleep. Woke up around seven, seven thirty eight. Feeling a little tired, you know. Day one, day one but I'm going for three months. That's the ultimate goal, is three months. So I'm hoping it cleans my body out. I'm hoping that ultimately, I'm hoping to lose three months. I should try and lose maybe 15 to 20 pounds. Maybe, I don't know, maybe more. I mean, so I figured I'm gonna stick to a diet of water, cucumber water, lemon water for the flavors and the vitamins. So I think I think it's gonna be a challenge, but you know, challenge accepted. For people that don't know what cucumber water is, you wanna just tell them how you do that? Cucumber water, I usually cut up cucumbers, I put it in my water. I, at my house, I let it sit for about three or four hours, you know, that way it really mixes in. And then, since I'm fast, I'm not gonna eat the cucumbers, but I usually eat them. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna, probably gonna give the cucumbers to my girlfriend or something. Yeah. And so I'm going for it. Going you, for the big 90 days. Or, all right. You wanna do an ACV shot? Oh, right, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna pause it right now. We're gonna pour some ACV and then show you all one of the things that we like to do kind of to get the day started. All right. I do think that Z is probably gonna notice that the weight loss is a lot more than he is expecting. Um, it's his first time doing a fast, but he's really gung-ho. Um, so uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I think it's gonna be a really interesting thing to take and, and really take a look at. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna be really surprised, probably pleasantly surprised. Um, but I do think it's gonna be really enlightening for other people to see somebody who, it's their very first time going on a fast, their very first time doing a fast, and uh, be able to have them along for the journey to be able to experience that. I'm gonna be doing my thoughts and a bunch of other stuff. I might do some other videos talking about fasting and other stuff. But then, yeah, um, we'll see how long it goes. Um, I don't wanna say that I have any expectations um, for the challengers or my, I mean, I have expectations for myself, but um, I don't really say that I have any for either one of them. Um, as he obviously mentioned, 
he's going for an extended period of time. He knows that he has enough mass, enough energy reserves stored to be able to, if it works for his mind and his body and his uh, physicality and his mental state and emotional, spiritual, all those things, um, it really affects everything. Um, so if that's something he's able to do, if he's able to do it, he can certainly go longer than I can because I just don't have as much reserve stored up. That's just the way it is. Um, and then I also thought it was good that he wanted to talk about um, something he's also been mentioning because we've been talking about this for a little while, getting ready. Um, you know, we did various things and you know, I gave him some tips going into the fast in terms of things that you can do. One of the main tips that I told him was heading into a fast, what you can do is try and decrease your eating to one meal a day. Um, they mentioned that uh, they had worked towards that. I don't know that the other guy uh, necessarily did it, but I'm pretty sure that Z did. Got to where he was just having that one big meal. Um, at the end of the day so that it's going to be easier for him to kick into ketosis and make him easier to um, make that experience of transitioning over to the feeling of not having food easier um, and then we also talked about trying to do a higher fat and lower sugar um, in order to make that transition to burning the fats for an extended period of time easier as well um, I'm about to run some errands and I realized that um, I had my videos, my glasses on because I'm just about to pop in the car um, for the ACV video, which although I already shot that video, I'm going to show this video before that video, but this just happened 10 minutes ago right now. All right, so THE back. We are about to do, uh, we do ACV in shots. So I'm D, this is Z, and we're taking the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. It doesn't have any calories. Um, one of the things that I just recently learned last night about it is ACV is actually less acidic than your human stomach. So, and there's a bunch of other things that it does, but we like to take it just because of the energy and what else? The nutrients. Yeah. You know, it's good for you. It cleans your body out. Yep. I mean, shoot. It's probably one of the best things for your colon. Yeah. And so it's really good to do in conjunction with fasting. We do this when we're not fasting. We just sometimes, we start the day like this. Mm -hmm. We like to pour in, we pour in up to basically like this. It's basically what, maybe a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. And then we fill the rest with uh, room temperature water because we try to chug it. We initially tried this with the cold water. Um, no that was no out. good. Um, we do use, a, we have a really nice filter that we use um, here at work. And uh, so we're gonna hit this. Are you ready? One, two, two, three, shalom. Shalom, cheers. one time it was the first day and I had more experience drinking apple cider vinegar than he did so it slowed him down but I haven't been able to beat him a single time since then we probably what 50 to 100 oh yeah easily. something around there anyhow um, this is day one of our fasting challenge and wow I actually yeah, I feel a lot less when oh, I'm yeah. fasting than when I'm when I'm eating food it hits my stomach like a whoa and you, you feel it I didn't really get much of a head rush uh, 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 uh. No. no. All right, um, we're about to get it uh, ready for work, but as things progress, you know, maybe I'll try and do a once a week check-in and we'll see how things go. There is another guy that I mentioned in that previous video who is uh, another competitor, another challenger. I don't know if he's gonna be as keen to do a video, but I'm gonna ask him. If he does, that'll be to follow, and if he doesn't, um, I'll give updates. All right, more to follow. Be positive. All right. Wow, it's super bright. I'm not really sure how this video is even gonna turn out because it's so bright. Um, I do live, I don't know if I mentioned this in previous videos, in Arizona, in the Phoenix metro area, so it's the end of July, it's the last day of July, and it's obviously exceedingly warm, it's well over 100 degrees. We just had a, a really big rain last night. My goodness. And, um, and um, yeah, so uh, the thing I wanted to mention was the reason that we're starting on the 31st is because I wanted to start on the 31st because I was about to start this and I normally like to start endeavors like that at the first of the month because it makes keeping track of days just a lot simpler. You don't got to go 10 plus 2 or something minus this or whatever. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4 counting. But so I looked up, um, but I had heard 
that starting a new endeavor is best on the new moon. And it turns out July 31st today is the new moon. Now, I don't know. Just, wow. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, back to the point. Um, wow, is my, I think it's because I've got something on the camera lens. Hold on, hold on. Is that, oh my gosh. Wow, the camera lens was so dirty. Oh, uh, I think I just had probably had a smudge on there. Um, wow, that's funny. Anyhow, um, what was I saying? Starting on the 31st, July 31st, because it's a new moon. Now, I don't care if somebody wants to say that's woo-woo or bunk or whatever. Um, maybe it is, but maybe it isn't. And there are a bunch of studies. Um, well, I don't know how many studies, but there are a bunch of reports and even emergency room data, I don't know if those, those don't count as studies, showing that accidents and a bunch of other problems increase, I think it's even traffic accidents too, on the full moon. So there's a difference that between the moon cycles that somehow, somehow, apparently, apparently has some type of tie-in to the way it affects humans and human behavior. Now, I don't know what that is, but if there's a chance that it is better to start an endeavor on the new moon, then why not? It's one day earlier compared to August 1st, so I figured, why not? Now, maybe as time goes on, I'll have a chance to research that and find out what that really is or what it isn't, um, and the reasons for that, I don't know. But um, I'm just, I'm doing a little shopping here. Just wanted to put that, uh, get that video out. Um, and another thing, just after doing these last videos with Z there, um, it's really fun. Uh, any of my previous fasts, so just to give a brief recap, this year, I've done one, two, three, three extended fasts, three fasts of longer than seven days, seven or more days, four fasts of three days or longer. I also did a three-day fast prior to doing a 5K with my brothers um, a while back that was in between um, the first and the second extended fast, um, which was um, 30 and 17, respectively. Um, of the really good length ones. So the thing, the thing to keep in mind, the thing to take away is, if you're gonna go on some type of a challenge, it really is worth it, even if it's on day one, to to, to find somebody to want to compete with you. If you want to go from a competition standpoint, or if it, you know, if it's something where you want to have them, you know, you're in it together, that's fine too. We like to do it as a competition thing. That's what makes it fun. Um, do whatever works for you, but definitely find a way to involve other people or at least one other person, even if they're just somebody that you talk to about it. If you want to think of them as an accountability buddy or something like that, it really makes it fun. Just after doing those videos, um, it's just been a, you know, 30 minutes. I'm just in such a more positive mood because we've we've made it something fun i've made it something fun i only asked these guys a week ago i said hey you know i'm doing another fast they had known that i was doing the fast last time we talked about it a little bit um just a little bit here and there but now having actually one and two uh competitors um it just it's so much more enjoyable it really is um so that's the takeaway for today and that's all for now H -E, end of fasting challenge day one and it's a good day. Um, the other guy who I thought wasn't gonna maybe wanna do a video for um, being a competitor, he turned out not to want to, as I suspected. Um, and that's fine, that's his choice. Uh, he also did say that he thought today might be the day he's throwing in the towel on day one. Um, you know, and I just said, you know, you, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, you know, it's challenging. Um, so best of luck, uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Um, if uh, competitor number two uh, stayed with it. And it was a great day today. I uh, just really had a fun time, um, you know, at work and uh, got everything done and uh, don't even feel, I don't even feel hungry at all. I was kind of talking to the guys earlier and they were saying, you know, we we're talking about feeling hungry or whatnot. And I was like, I had to say, you know, I wish I could commiserate. I, I really don't actually feel feel any, any hunger right now. You know, what people call hunger, uh, you know, the physical, um, sense of, oh my gosh, it's time to eat. Um, but I attribute my past experience and my uh, preparation over the last, mainly I only spent about three or four days really preparing, um, changing my patterns, although I was kind of on a decent pattern before. Most of the time I only ate two, sometimes one time a day. So I was already reasonably prepped. I can't even think of the last time I ate three times in a day. So 
you were, I was already doing a, basically an intermittent fast, which of course makes it easier, as I'm sure everybody knows, if you're watching this type of video. And if you don't, go and look at some videos on intermittent fasting. There's a bunch of stuff out there. 16-8, 8-16, all the other breaks, 5-2. There's a bunch of other ways you can do it. Um, do what works for you, but if you really wanna experience the most uh, change in the shortest period of time, pure fasting it for an extended period of time for whatever you can do is probably the best thing. Um, again, I, I don't personally um, condone or think that dry fasting without any water is a healthy practice. If you fasted a lot in a water fast and you're ready to take that on, by all means, keep that on you. But especially for beginners, I would definitely not recommend doing any type of dry fasting. So the end of day one, I'm gonna really try and have this video up today like I'm trying to do, but I don't know how to edit all these videos together and make them into one cohesive video. I'm gonna try and find something to do that with when I get home, but it's already late. And sometimes it's difficult to learn new stuff when it's already the end of the day. Although it's probably gonna take me a while to fall asleep. And unless I take a, a sleep aid, which I might, cause sometimes um, that can help. So we'll see what happens. I'll try to get the video up as soon as possible and be positive.